Hello decision makers, this is the Sunday study. This is the study for Sunday, April 25th, 2021, the SDA Bible study and absg.adventist.org. Uh, Thy shield, after these things, the word of the Lord came unto Abram in a vision, saying, Fear not, Abram, I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward. Genesis 15.1 Read Genesis 15.1-3. Think of the context in which this message was given. Why would the first thing the Lord say to Abram be, Do not be afraid? Well, they have fear not, but I don't think of fear the same way they are using it. Anyway, and then actually in the reference it is that you did use the word afraid. So, just saying... Uh, why would Abram, what would Abram have to be afraid of? Um, so, my, my response is, why would the first thing the Lord say to Abram be, do not be afraid? Uh, the power from God may at first be alarming. So, what would Abram have to be afraid of? Abram may be afraid at first, not knowing what it is to be fiercely protective. When God calls himself when God calls himself someone's shield, what does that mean? Did it mean something to Abram that it might not mean to us now? Can we claim that promise for ourselves? Does it mean no physical harm will come? In what ways is God a shield? How do you understand that image? So the first question. What does that mean? So when God calls himself someone's shield, what does that mean? He is their protector. Did it mean something to Abram that it might not mean to us now. Not sure. But thinking about it now, reading that again, he's our protector. So, I mean, it's this, yeah, it's the same. Um, can we claim that promise for ourselves? Yes. Does it mean no physical harm will come? No. Uh, in what ways is God a shield? Mentally, he is a shield. How do you understand that image? God works in the minds. From all outward appearances, Rolando had been a faithful follower of the Lord. Then suddenly he died unexpectedly. What happened to God as his shield? God as his shield helped him be happy. Or must we understand the idea of God as our shield in a different manner? God gives us reflection and more. What uh, uh, what does God always promise to shield us from? God shields us from not having a better example to live up to. And that's that.